If you're going to encourage them, you have to have the right mindset behind what you're doing. You have to be able to direct them in the right actions. And you have to show them the why behind it. People are desperate to know the why. We saw earlier that the church construction is way down, right? right? Church construction is way down, but we're still spiritual human beings, right? And that deep sense of why, that deep sense of commitment is absolutely essential for people to, to excel. So what I'd like you to do is to think about encouraging people in terms of their performance. High performance is concentrating on the few tasks that if done with excellence will really make a difference in the results of your job and in the performance of the company. So think about that direct report. Think about the direct report now. What are the top three outcomes that they need to achieve in order to succeed in their role? Think about that for a moment. If you want to write that down, you can. Think about those top three outcomes. I was talking to one of my clients just this week. He's a young guy. He's up in Reno. They just opened an office up there. Um, he's getting distracted by a whole bunch of stuff. So I said, okay, what are your top three outcomes? And he was really fast. Number one, develop relationships. Number two, bid and win work. Number three, build it successfully. Boom. <laughs> Those are the top three outcomes. Nice and clear. Think about your direct report. What are the top three outcomes that they are expected to achieve? Okay, now. Think about someone who's perhaps in charge of building, one of your superintendents or one of your foremen. They've got to be safe, they've got to be fast, and they've got to do it at high quality. That's just an example. But think about your direct report, the top three outcomes. Now I want you to pick the most important outcome that they're supposed to achieve. The most important outcome. What is the most important outcome that that direct report is supposed to achieve? Now, let's roll with that for a moment here. Pick the top three actions or tasks that lead to that most important outcome. Okay, so think about the most important outcome and then the top three tasks that lead to that most important outcome. Okay, so you've got your most important outcome. You've got your most important task that leads to that most important outcome. And you're thinking about that direct report who you're putting your hopes into. This is the question that you then ask. In what specific ways, and you ask them to answer this, in what specific ways can I improve my performance of this task? If you're going to be able to encourage them and say you can do it, you've got to be able to give them the opportunity to think through in what specific ways can I improve my performance of that task. Now that question there, what's the most important word in that question? Specific specific because what you want them to do is to be very granular and very action oriented in what they're going to do to improve their performance of that task in order to achieve that most important outcome and you as a leader if you're able to sit down with someone and walk them through the outcomes you expect from them walk them through the tasks that lead to that outcome talk with them about how they're going to improve their performance of those tasks then you have the right to look them in the eye and say, you can do it. You can do it. That's how you're going to be able to encourage them. So what I'd like you to do is think about your org chart real quick. Perhaps that one direct report. Who needs encouragement? Who needs encouragement? Who has potential, but they're a little bit shaky in their performance? And you need to sit down with them and make sure they're crystal clear on exactly what they need to do in order to achieve high performance. Sit down with them. Identify their outcomes, their tasks that lead to the outcome, pick the most important task, and get them to think about how can I improve my performance of that task in the next 30 days. And then look them in the eye and say, you can do it.